as you can see they fixed up uh, the landing bug and you can now land whatever you want it's pretty good so let's get back in our ship and I'll show you guys hello and welcome to lag theory today we're gonna do a follow-on from our basic controls tutorial uh, we're gonna do another one an updated one with uh, our uh, using control preference 3 and we may do videos on the other references as you can see they fixed up uh, the landing bug and you can now land whatever you want it's pretty good so let's get back in our ship and I'll show you guys the basic controls uh, for the latest update uh, for keyboard and mouse you can specify alright so we're in our ship, powering up. Now, uh, something that's not explicit in the instructions uh, is your power management. So if you press F3, you get to power management, and it specifies 1, 2, and 3 to adjust your power to various systems. Now, 1 is for your guns, so you just press 1 to power up your guns. 2 is for shields. 3 is for engines, and 4 will balance them all again. Uh, moving on from that, F4 to shields. If you, uh, for you, you got to use your numpad for this. You can re-key bind, obviously, uh, if you don't have a numpad on your particular keyboard. But 8 on your numpad will power the front shields, 2 power the rear shields, and 5 will balance it out again. That's on your numpad, not on the normal button. Uh, so that's uh, the basics of the new layout for power management and stuff like that. Uh, if you press Alt left, left hand Alt, uh, you'll go into free look mode. So you can look around. I'm breaking my neck here, obviously. So, so you can look around. It's your control. Uh, a left Alt, sorry. A uh, right control. Go sets you into uh, what they call virtual joystick mode. So if we just lift off here, it's virtual joystick mode. My head is locked to the direction of the ship, as you can see. If I press control again, it's a uh, free movement again. Now, as you can see, after landing and upon spawning, uh, you may have some safeties off. So on preference three, uh, control controls your comm stab and caps lock controls your G-safe. Uh, targeting is basically the same. R for nearest hostile. Y rotates through all hostiles, including friendlies. X is up. Z is down. A and D are left and right. So you got your sort of your six degrees of freedom without having to go into the coupled mode. Uh, e and Q is roll. And tab puts you in decoupled mode. Now, decoupled mode now will maintain your speed in the direction until you press the same amount of time in the opposite direction. So, comstab, nothing will stop you from moving along this direction. So, if you you gotta completely control it yourself, basically. That's why I don't really use uh, decoupled mode anymore. It's rather difficult to use. Um, so that's why I prefer preference 3, because you still get that sort of 6 degree freedom-ish that you expect from decoupled, but you won't go infinitely. Uh, that basically sums up all the basics for the new stuff. Uh, so if you guys want me to do other videos on other controls, let me know, and I'll see what I can do, I'll have to learn the controls. Uh, so that's that's been the basic controls for the latest update, and which is 9.2, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the verse. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!